up, Mid Engine Squad? It's your boy Fear Boy. This is coming back with a brand new video for y'all. So in today's video, we're gonna actually talk about people driving. If you're not following me on YouTube, Snapchat, or TikTok, please do so at Fear Boy in the Square this city. Also, please follow me on my brand new Instagram page at 214 Fierro Guy. And if you have not already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell. Because why? Hey man, I bring you Fierros, I bring you Corvairs, I bring you other cars. Now let's get it. Let's go. You know what I said? Also, peace. Triple smash that like button for you, boy. Because, man, come on. Y'all already know, man. Y'all yeah. Y'all already know what it is, man. It's coming. Ah, it's coming. Y'all already know what it is. So, yeah. So, um, what I was saying in the message on Instagram, I know I have put it out on Facebook. I know I have put it out on the YouTubers. Call that page. I put it on everything. We got to watch out for these people who do not know how to drive, y'all. Like, I'm just being real with y'all. You know, the other day I was actually involved in an accident, which was my poor baby, my Sonic, my car that was looking good until this man got behind me for no reason and messed my car up. And I tell you, man, these people out here, man, what do they be thinking about when they be driving, y'all? Like, I mean, I don't understand. Yes, I ain't gonna necessarily say I'm the best driver in the world, but I know how to pay attention. I know how to stay in my lane. I know how to watch out and see on what people is doing. I know I'm not trying to drive behind people while they bagging up to their parking spaces or why, or why they trying to, you know, um, go up to a gas pump. Why, why, why would I try to beat them? I mean, like, come on, bro. I mean, folks gotta learn how to start showing dignity, start showing respect. Because you want to get the same respect as if somebody else was doing you like that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really understand on what people be doing or what people be thinking about, y'all. I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Once again, I'm not the best driver. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the um, you know, I'm not this, I'm not this G of a driver. Yeah, I mess up too. But at the same time, too, I know how to correct myself before I accident even even get involved. So I don't get why folks is not doing the same thing as you. Like, I just trying to figure out, where do they be getting their driver license from? Out of a Cracker Jack box? I mean, like what? I mean, I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Then they always want to point the finger at you. You, 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 you did it. How can I do it and you the person that's behind me but starting up stuff? How can I do it? How, how can I be the person? How can I, me personally, I have to repeat myself on that. Be the but be the one starting up stuff and you the one who who is behind me. How can I do that? So I was over at Kroger's, uh, cause I stay, you know, you know, uh, North Dallas here. So I was out in Kroger's and um me and my wife, we actually about to go in the store, you know what I'm saying, to go pick up a few items so we can um, you know what I'm saying, go on about our day. So as I get ready to bag up into my parking space i'm not seeing nobody around me so i had to turn around you know to um i had to turn around to get to my parking spot pretty much like like what i mean is i had to turn around because i wanted to bag up to my parking spot and so as i'm doing that it's nobody around me y'all nobody and so as i'm bagging up i'm looking on my camera i'm not seeing nobody nothing all of a sudden me and my wife are saying hey 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 and on top of that, we are not even that far out from our parking spot. You know what I'm saying? And so if this person was actually already there before we got there, why did I not see you there in the parking spot? You get what I'm saying? And so I want y'all to kind of just think about that for a second. I want y'all to think about what I just said. And, and, and I want y'all to tell me down in the comment section on what I'm saying, please. Please revert that to people who do not know how to drive back out here. Please do so. Because I'm trying to figure it out. So as I'm bagging up and I'm getting closer to my parking spot, all I hear was a bam. That's all I heard. After I hear, hey, hey, hey. Instead of you blowing your horn, sir, to let me know that you was behind me inadvertently, as you, as you probably think that you really, really was behind me the whole time, I wanted him to think that. I wanted him to think that he was behind me the whole time. I'm watching my whole surrounding, y'all. So don't point the finger up at me and say, oh yeah, well it's your fault, you did it. How? I'm looking around the whole time. It's nobody behind me, y'all. So I, all of a sudden, out of the blue, as I'm bagging up, and I'm about to get in my parking spot, you are there. How did you get there? 
How did you get there? And you was not even there. You weren't even close. Because I would have seen you already in the parking spot. So why would I want to try to park right there? I hate when folks do that. I hate when folks trying to beat you to things. I hate when folks trying to beat you as you bagging up. They trying to help and get behind you. What are you doing? You don't know. You don't. You don't, you don't know how to give respect when people bagging up. You don't know how to give respect when somebody is trying to turn into a damn parking spot. You don't know how to give respect to that. I mean, I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? Like, folks have to learn how to start giving respect as you as you would want respect. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? You got the people out here, oh yeah, I'm here for myself. It's all about me. You know what I'm saying? It's not about you. Because at the end of the day, if you end up killing somebody, you know what I'm saying? If you end up doing crazy stuff like you doing, it's not about you. It's not about you. It's about everybody else that's around you. And you got to watch these folks out here because if you don't, they're going to be acting crazy. You know what I'm saying? So I'm about to ready to show y'all on what he did to my car. So as y'all can tell, it starts from right here and it goes all the way through. And if you go down here, as you can tell, my car was not looking like this. My car was not looking like this, y'all. Look, look at this. This is this right here is how you know that people do not know how to drive. Just jumping behind you as you bagging up. Look. Look at what they did. Look. My car was not looking like that, y'all. My car was clean back here. You know what I'm saying? It was no scratches, no scrapes, nothing. My car was not looking like this. You know, something else folks have to stop doing. Folks have to stop opening up their car door on yours. You see this, y'all? Look at this. Disrespect. Total disrespect. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's total disrespect when you got folks that get up out here swinging their car doors. They don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like I remember last year, um, I was out in Duncanville and there was, uh, I, me and my wife was at a Dairy Queen. And so my Fiero was sitting like right on the same side as where the drive-thru is, but you know, not in the drive-thru and not, you know, adjacent to the drive-thru, you know, as, as was what people say. But um, like, as I'm doing that, I'm sitting like directly right in front of my car. So I can see what's going on outside when I went with like my Fiero is parked right there. So I come outside, people got doors all on my Fiero, uh, hanging all up on top of it and everything. You know, and it's like, what are y'all doing? Why are y'all disrespecting my car like that? Like folks have to stop disrespecting people's cars out here, man. We work too damn hard for this. We work too hard to, to, um, to have to keep on, have to pay to repair these cars. You know what I'm saying? And you know, and we don't want to have to keep on waiting on these insurance companies neither. These insurance companies are starting to be trash out here. They are. We pay up all these money to these people. They don't even help you do anything. And I'm tired of it. You know what I'm saying? Well, y'all, well, that right there is the end of this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Please share this video with people so I can help other people be careful out here, man. Y'all have to watch our surroundings, bro. Because folks will just pop up behind your car. Folks will just pop up on the side of your car while you're on the freeway. You don't even know how they even did it. They just be doing it. They didn't want to point the finger at you. Stop pointing the finger at people if you are wrong. Just admit it. All right, man, where's your boy, Fierro Boy, the six and a half.